Hey, this is Ryan. Isaac from Game of Sidekicks. And we have a special guest with us, Vincent from Lucky Duck. Vincent, how are you? Uh, like, it's been so long since we... You you ran up to me and Aaron, and it only hit us that it's been like three years uh, since yes. last time we talked. I know, um, so. I know. Yeah, it's it's really nice to be back here, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so much has changed also for us in three yeah. years. Yeah. The, the world has changed. But also, Lucky Duck has grown quite substantially since. Uh, so, a lot, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first of all, I love Lucky Duck's logo. It's it's <laughs> just it's one of those things when. Um, so, if you are at Origins, you'll notice that there is a projection, a uh, a light projection in the hallway yep. um, with Lucky Duck's logo, oh, yeah, and I'm like, that thing looks so good. <laughs> but it, it's it looks terrifying in black and white. To be honest, it makes it it makes it very creepy. But the, actually, there is a story. Actually, the okay. the, the the word Lucky Duck came from uh, because the first game we published was from my brother. And at the time, I, I didn't know if I was going to be like a publisher or anything. We, I just wanted something with my brother. Okay. And so uh, he, he collects um, plastic ducks. Okay. And I've always been called the lucky guy. So calling it Lucky Duck. The Lucky Duck sounds so cheesy. So one Matouche, or our director, said, please don't make it cheesy. Yeah. And, so, and yeah. he came up with this half fried duck. And he did, we needed this so that the whole thing would just be like a bleh, You know, like a lucky <laughs> duck. Yeah, like it does that. look a little horrifying. <laughs> it's like, it's a, a so duck, so yeah. it, 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 it plays on, on two Levels of like of like an overly cheesy name with with something a little edgy with this uh, fried uh, fried duck like uh, with, with this, so. yeah. So um, one of the things that we want to talk to you about is Destiny. So, sure. Um, so both Isaac and myself, Isaac, that was your number one game last year. One in twenty twenty one. Yeah, so, and that far. was that was our number now. two yeah. uh, favorite game of twenty twenty one. Um, Destiny's is something so special mm. because of its immersion. Um, and so, tell us a little about how Destinies came about, because obviously years of development. Yes, you know? yeah, literally, um, this one is the longest we've ever worked on. Okay. So, um, so the story is that we, uh, I'll backtrack a little bit how we, because it was the first game we made through the studio. So, um, uh, when we launched Lucky Duck, we mm -hmm. first started doing uh, video game adaptation to board games. Yeah. We had no idea what we were doing, <laughs> uh, and, and we got it so wrong. Uh, the first year and a half was very difficult. We uh, we thought um, we thought our instinct, which was wrong at the time, was to go with large mobile game IP. So we signed Fruit Ninja and yep. Zombie Tsunami, one point five billion dollar. You think how can I go wrong? Well, you can go wrong. <laughs> 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 uh, and uh, we we brought those products out to the world, and just it just didn't work out. On top of that, we were green. The design were just ah. um, and. And so we're still two people and a half by end of 2017. Mm -hmm. And uh, February 2018, we launched Chronicles of Crime on Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, and we're very anxious about this product because we were all very conscious that the, the, the kind of the board game, the board game renaissance was born actually uh, because of this. Yeah. There was a, a sense of accessibility yet astralization, kind of like can soothe myself like this, I don't need you. <laughs> uh, yet uh, finding yourself around the table certainly felt right better than before. And so bringing a, a device around the table was a very challenging, and we thought nobody's gonna want it, it's gonna be horrible. So we, we, we for one year, we, uh, we we went, to, I don't know, we presented Crinkles of Crime in so many conventions because it was like, we really need to show to people this is not evil. Uh, and it works and it's integrated. And Crinkles of Crime, the, 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 the Kickstarter did almost a million dollar. For us, it was a, a complete change of realism. Yeah. And by October 2018, and this is where finally Destiny's comes in the picture, we have a company meeting where seven people at that by now, um, and we decide to officially let go of video games, uh, video game IP translation, yeah. and to focus entirely our studio development onto digital hybrid. Uh, we realized that uh, there is FFG who is doing rather core audience games, there is a Portal who was de de detective that yeah, year, yeah, yeah. and there is... Um, uh, unlock, which all uh, yeah, assembly, but it was very few bits, and because I come from the video game industry, it's some the, all the digital part was done internally. It felt like it it was a, a, a genre that we could really um, put ourselves on. And so, um, but there's a big but, and that's how Destiny's was born. Is that we couldn't find designers who understand that. Mm -hmm. It was uh, as a design as a publisher, we rely heavily on author coming to our, our way with with design. Mm -hmm. We uh, we, we, I don't know, we try 150, 200 design uh, a year, and here we literally got nothing. So um, I come from the video game industry, my instinct was, let's build a studio, let's just do it ourselves. Right. 
And the first person I hired was Michal Gomowski, which is the co-designer of this uh, mm-hmm. of, of Destinies. And him and Philip Mwinski, who was uh, the, our um, creative director, put themselves um, for two months and, and came up with this initial design uh, for, for Destinies. At the time, it was not called Destinies. Uh, it was actually a rather um, goofy fantasy type of thing. Okay. We, we, they were still working the, the mechanic, but they, we didn't know what the thing would be. Um, and, um, and actually, we met with the people at Mythic Games. Okay. Um, and initially, Destinies was called um, um, Destinies. Uh, sorry, it was t- Time of Legend Destinies, okay. it, and it was linked to the fact that we were working with the Mythic Games on their Joan of Arc uh, license, okay. getting their miniatures, and, and doing this together. Um, and um, one of sorry, I'm chatty. Uh, stop me if I'm too oh, chatty. No, <laughs> <not. We're laughs> so, what, what, yeah. one of the biggest challenge of this game, and the reason why it took three years of development. So, we released, it's literally, it's the first game we started when we opened the studio in 2018. We released the game in May 2021, so it was a labor of love. And the reason it took so long is because um, uh, this type of heavy narrative game are cooperative for a reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's because when you have a lot of narrative, you want to be all in the same team. So that when I say something out loud. It matters for everyone. Yeah. Uh, when you do a competitive narrative game, it is very tricky if what I'm reading is only for me, because you can have quite long downtime of reading, and if you are not engaged in it, you could quickly just you know, pull your phone. I was like, oh, it's 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 your turn anyway. So yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. And so we we quickly realized we need to intertwine the story so heavily that everybody's turns and narrative will be meaningful to someone. You just want to hear what's going on here to stay engaged. And it's just keeping that pace was so hard. And so, um, and this is one of the reasons why the game is only three player maximum yeah. is because this inter- the intertwining something meaningful um, and having overlapping possibility of going throughout was already hard at three at four, it will be like uh, uh, impossible to do. And so we, we found another way to do four player. Uh, but that was the biggest point of, of, of this. Another fun story about Destiny is that during the Kickstarter, we um, we send the prototype, we send the print and play to over 500 people. We have never oh, wow. done a, a play test so large. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're thinking, no one is going to print it anyway, so <laughs> we might as well just send it to everybody. It's like, everybody asks us for, for print and play, nobody prints them. Yeah. They did. <laughs> and, and, and we received so many feedback. Yeah. Sometimes delicious, as in like it was great. Sometimes heartbreaking story of <laughs> playing for eighteen hours a thing and like oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> what have we done? Oh. And so, but it was wonderful because it was the one game in the lifetime of, of Lucky Duck that had so much feedback yeah. on that one scenario. And so, after the Kickstarter, they spent an, almost an, another year redoing that first scenario okay. out of all the feedback, oh. re re putting it together. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And finally, nailing not only the the narrative but also the way it's presented in the app, yeah. the to be able to give a follow up. By the way, it's two out of three. All of this uh, like dynamic data was really hard to put together. Uh, but yeah, so so the, this is why uh, it's definitely one of the products that's been mm-hmm. the longest. Um, at the end of the day, um, uh, we uh, we we uh, uh, Mythic Game wonderful people by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, could not sustain the IP to us, yeah. which is why we, we lost this uh, this title, which became Destiny's, maybe a cleaner title anyway. Yeah, yeah, sure. um, and uh, we still managed to keep their, their miniatures and, and, and the world cool. building. That's really cool. Um, and it became the product we released in May last year. And, uh, and, and, and first of all, thank you so much for the appreciation. It was specific, uh, special because uh, Destiny's won this. Um, um, this uh, best digital hybrid board yeah. game at UK Games so, last week, which was very that's very nice. Such too. a cool one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you so much. Very cool. yeah. I've talked too much now. You need to take the back again. Well, <laughs> but, I, but I can see like I can see the growth from Chronicles of Crime mm-hmm. to Destiny's, even to uh, to Divinus, right? D- Divinus. Yes, yeah, yeah, Divinus. Because yeah, we yeah. got to play the first couple scenarios of that. Yes, and the growth of that game. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, we love when we play games. We love to have music in the background mm. and make things theme. Yeah. But Destiny's was all in, yeah, right? Yeah, the yeah. themes, the bar sounds, the yes. like is somebody over. What are they doing over there, right? Yes. I just loved that it felt so integrated, mm. right? And that's that's why we loved it. Yeah. And it hit us when we when when Aaron and myself and Bob were sitting there playing, and we hear the moans of people in the hospital mm. when you visit, and we're like, 
Wow. Yeah. That's off-putting <laughs> in the best way. Like, I, I'm, I'm uncomfortable, but I got to keep playing this. I need to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. So actually, uh, one of the uh, subsequent design of this is our work with Vine Rider game called The Dark Water. Mm -hmm. Yes. And and it's it's really special. I mean, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very different universe, something we couldn't do. Uh, but the idea was to kind of take the Destiny's technology yep. and give them to writers. Uh, Van Ryder game is obviously known yeah. for like amazing yeah. writing, yeah. much darker writing that we would, even darker than Destiny's, which yeah. was already sometime on the edge of being quite dark. <laughs> um, and um, um, but really take uh, Evan's um, view of of. Uh, Gang and, yeah. and and a little bit of their roughness and 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 and, and put yeah, it's not you know, a light game. Put, put, put yeah, <laughs> put, uh, you, you guys tried this. Uh, the the you, you, you tried scenario. the prototype. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was not a play with your kids. Oh, it's, uh, it's a sixteen <laughs> plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, there is a lot of back and forth as a what what square word is okay or not. You know, like yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so we uh, I kickstarted that. So I didn't get a prototype, but um, I heard so many great things. Mm. Went ahead and, and jumped on that campaign, and I was like. This is a game that, when it fulfills, my my son is probably going to be over eighteen. Okay, and perfect. so it's probably going to be a good fit yes. when it actually does fulfill. Yes, yes, yes. And if it's not, yeah. Aaron and I will play. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. You know, it, it's 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 yeah. I, I I'm so grateful that we got it. Uh, uh, we found a space for those two publishers to work together and have Evan as a writer who is just such an incredible writer. That's awesome. good. Um, and actually, talking about that, there is something really special for what we're doing with Destiny. So. We started with Chronicles of Crime to share this community editor. Right. That's a, it's digital, right? So yeah. the idea is that anyone anywhere in the world could write uh, something, and there's a platform. Right. Um, for Chronicles of Crime, we're too small to support this, really. So we say, hey, here's a here's a, a BGG list. Upload your thing here, people. This is where things will be uploaded. Good luck. Right. Uh, we'll, we may answer a few questions here and there, but the, you're on your own. Yeah. yeah. As we've grown right now, we're we're fifty plus people, lucky duck. Uh, we, yeah, we so so that number. Okay, so you were at seven. Okay, <laughs> yes. you were at seven. I know. Four years ago. I know. And what you just said the number is? Yeah, we're we're fifty four. Okay, <laughs> seven to fifty four employees. I know. I know. So. Oh, we 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 can we can talk about what they are. What do they do every day? <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, they, they are very busy. Uh, but but just to finish on this, uh, Destiny is is the first game in which. Uh, you will be able to play community created scenario within the app because mm -hmm. in Chronicles in Chron uh, Chron of Crime you had to know where that is, upload it on your phone yeah. yourself, yeah. upload it to the editor and play it here. It's going to be f it's fully integrated. Mm -hmm. People go to luckydagames.com, they upload their story there and it shows up automatically in the app for everyone to, yeah. to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And we just launched uh, uh, it sounds, I, I feel, I don't know why it sounds promotional, really, but it's just what happened. Like, we just launched a contest yeah. uh, with a $5,000 prize to kind of um, try to, to see where the community can take this platform yeah. and write their own content with it within, within this, this, uh, this thing. So, we're, I'm very excited with it. It's so unique in a way, like, we, we're we don't know if it's going to be successful or not. I mean, I want to stay humble. We're excited. We don't know if people will actually write anything. It's be real <laughs> but but uh, but if this takes on, it could be. Uh, what's interesting is that this fifty dollar box becomes yeah. kind of a console oh, yeah. that, that that you with with the same thing you keep playing uh, community driven Something content. New. So and I think that's where so price is always a, a thing for us as a family, a family mm -hmm. five. You have to think about. What am I getting out of a game if I'm spending $50, sure. 70 80 $100? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the price of games nowadays. Yeah, well, we yeah, have a game at the show that's $300. Oh, you know, we have another game that's $600. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is a reality mm -hmm. that these is, games are very costly. Yeah, yes. they, are, they are higher than three payments on my car. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, so for $50, when I think about Destinies mm -hmm. and when I think about the expansions that are... 29, I believe, yes, or somewhere around exactly, there. Yeah, yeah. So when I think about Destinies as a, an experience, it's such a wonderful experience. But then when you introduce the community editor, mm -hmm. it becomes this thing where if you can't get your $50 out of it, there's something wrong with you <laughs> at this point. I mean, you know, it is, we're trying, we're trying. It's, a, it's an amazing value, mm -hmm. and, and you know, it's, it's incredible to look at what you can put into a box for 50 bucks, mm -hmm. and then look at what some of, some of these other companies are putting in a box for the same price point. Mm -hmm. It's really incredible, and it's something that we are thankful that Lucky Duck is around, and you guys are efficient enough that you guys can put together these amazing mm -hmm. experiences Thank you. that are affordable. 
Right? Yeah. And Carly walked us through the, uh, yeah. the, the storyline. And yeah, again, yeah. that speaks to you know, the 54. You've got a great team. Yeah, you know, you. and we, I, I think a lot of us in media, uh, so I'm in medicine, and I know all the doctors, and I know the good things and the bad things about yeah. the doctors, but patients have no idea. Mm, yeah, right? yeah. When we're in media, we know the good things and the bad <laughs> things for a lot of these companies. And a lot of them, people don't see what we see, mm -hmm. right? But you've assembled a team that top to bottom mm -hmm. is like, I don't know how much U.S. sports you follow, but yeah. it's like a Golden State Warriors team. Oh, like you're getting like top, top people. Yeah. And it's and you see it in the booth. You yeah. see it in people's attitudes. Mm -hmm. You can walk around here and you see people in somebody's booths that look like they could care less, mm -hmm. right? Thank and you. You've got a good, energetic team. Yeah. And so that you know, so Lucky Duck is my fifth company. So I, I you know, I'm, 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 Actually, the, the company almost died out of the first thing that I told because I was a terrible game designer, and I realized <laughs> I'm a terrible game designer. You know? Though what I've what I've what I've put my passion upon is uh, find um, find subject matters that can be inspiring, and to which I can find people talented people which who I want to work with every day uh, to to do meaningful things. Yeah. Um, and actually, I can t touch one about but the purpose. I. I the last two company I funded, I was I was lucky enough that I've I've sold previous company. I have a bit of settings. I did this on my own. I always started them because I wanted to uh, work in a place I want to go to every day. That's how I started those companies. Um, but after a while, this this not sustainable. This is too personal, and I was I really wanted to find a purpose that's that makes sense for what we do at Lucky Duck. And there's been I found this TEDx talk that really uh, kind of put the nail on our purpose. It's a 75 years long. Um, uh, study of human behavior, four generation researcher who managed to get finals for that long, uh, and and keep this going. And the idea is, it's a thousand people every year that they then follow every every year to and from all corner of life. Yeah. What they found out is that the number one, but by far number one, predictor of happiness in life is the um, quality and quantity of the relationship you have. The people you love and people who love you. How many of those are they? And how much do you entertain this relationship? By far, like way, way, way far. And like, I really was like, wow, this is, it took me a while to process and realize, I'm like, I come from the video game industry, so my first company were in the video games. Um, and I realized I'm super lucky today that what I find myself doing actually goes toward this purpose yeah. too. Um, that's when we put a game like this. We're gonna spend some quiet time together, uh, away from you know, f you know, together. Right? Yeah, and, yeah, and so, yeah. so any, and it may spark. So, so we ended up, um, you know, saying that I, I remind the people I work with every day that even though you may be making an invoice, uh, putting a thing on the boat, <laughs> ultimately what we're, what you are doing is part of orchestra that sparks happiness and inspire, yeah. you know, genuine relationship and meaningful relationship rather. So, so, and so hopefully the, this trickle down a little bit on, on the way people look at what we do uh, in this company. And sure. so. Yeah, uh, just a little example of that. Destiny is my, uh, my son's cousin came over and mm -hmm. uh, they were sitting around talking and, and having a good time. And my son felt bad because he hadn't bought this new adventure game that his, his cousin had and had been playing for, for weeks. And uh, I said, you know, Destiny's is kind of similar to what you're saying. And he's like, really? And my son sat down with me and his cousin. We played Destiny until one in the morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they fell in love with the game to the point that they were there for about three days, the cousins were. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next night, Josiah's like, hey, we're going to play Destiny. Where's your, where's your iPad? I was like, no, it's over there. He grabbed the iPad, set the whole game up by himself, had everything running, was going through the campaign himself, him and his cousin going head to head against wow. each other. It was Amazing. like, it was a sight. Uh, they played two times back to back. They had a blast. And I was like, that's so cool because mm. video games, I grew up on video games. I grew up playing uh, playing Sega and uh, the Nintendo when I was a ch small child, mm. PlayStation all my life. And Every then, system. yeah, and then <laughs> you get to this point and it's like, I value the tabletop mm. so much mm. right now yeah, yes. because I want those meaningful relationships. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. It's nice to be back in this setting and be able to talk Absolutely. to people and see that. And, you know, we, we've all been missing that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Cool. Well, Vince, thank you so much for joining us. And nice so time. it's really, really cool hanging out with you and, and seeing the booth and all the all that's been created at Lucky Duck. Uh, so keep doing awesome things, and we're going to keep, uh, keep, keep enjoying the games. Yeah. 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 Thank, thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.